Okay, so this game, I don't know what's it about. Like, what keeps me playing that is. I don't know if it's the weapons. It could be the weapons, because I do have like four going five saves of this game with different color of the weapons. Or different variations of the weapons, excuse me. Because I did talk to Marvelous about this, if I was able to like downgrade or reskin them, which unfortunately you cannot do. And uh, they really try to get me to buy the DLC though, or these weapons that I did not want. Um, but that's sort of the reason why I have four going five saves, saves here. So, like, the color weapons at the very max, they all turn like pink with yellow water and like black or red or something, which I did not like. So, I that's sort of the reason again why I have like four saves here. So, around level I think six or seven, your weapons turn blue and white. It's, they look really, really good. So, you know, like I said, like, like a few saves here for the normal weapons and then the blue ones and then the black ones and the pink ones, you know, some smith later on. Each time you level your weapons, they turn into different variations and colors. Yeah, but it could be that. It could be the game scene, which I love the most about this game because literally everything in this game is animated. Even small details you won't see as you're gaming is animated. Like, you know, flowers or water fountains, you know, whatever you see in there. Everything in this entire game is freaking animated and I love it. Or it could be the cars. The cars, um, they are really cool. Some really cool skill effects. Um, really cool artwork on them as well. Could be that. Um, I did used to have a game, I probably still do have it, called Yu-Gi-Oh! Eternal Duel of Souls. Did anyone ever play that way back in Game Boy Advance days? And I can't believe, now that I think about it, a game like that kept me from playing Sigma Star Saga, which is a way forward game, by the way. Um, I love shoot 'em up games, I love beat 'em up games, and I love fighting games. And Sigma Star Saga was a shoot 'em up game, shoot 'em up slash adventure. And again, I, I can't believe that a card game, Yu Gi Oh!, which I really never watched the animated series on. I think after the whole Seto Kaiba, Seto Kaiba, if that's his name, and Blue Eyes White, no, it was. Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. After that episode, I just stopped watching Yu-Gi-Oh! entirely. I was too still addicted to, I think, Pokemon or something. I don't know. Pokemon and Sonic. Uh, but yeah, I played that game the most. And I, I'm telling you, by the way, Yu-Gi-Oh! Eternal Duty Souls has some really, really good music. So if you're a gamer and you like game music, um, check out the uh, Yami Yugi stains. It was really good, man. It was popping off. Uh, but yeah, again, it could be the cost system. I mean, it's, it's anything. I, I don't know. And this game is just, it's just really fun. And when I first bought this game, I would tell myself that I was not going to play online because of the obvious reasons. But the more I played, the more I just kept on getting addicted to it to the point where, like, literally every day for me getting up to go to bed, I'm just playing this one game. As I, I should be making multiple YouTube videos and uploading them and stuff, which I have been doing here and there, but not as freaking as I should. I'm just uploading. I guess, what do you call those things on the junk? Uh, it, it was spam something. I, I don't know. I forgot. I can't, I can't remember what it's called. But let's just say I'm, I'm uploading just some junk files here and there. Um, another side reason for that is because I'm still waiting for my game computer. But yeah, I should be doing other stuff, but I, I'm, I'm not. So I'm just sitting here again, like day in and day out, just playing this one game. Here I thought, if I got near Automata, if I said that correctly, but then let me know. I thought for sure I was going to be addicted to that game. I was going to, because I was trying to push myself a little bit away from playing the soul, because we all know that's if you are a playing the soul person watching this game, watching the, this video, we all know that this game is going down here, just like it did with Dragon's Nest, and I think Wildstar got shut down finally yesterday. So yeah, I was just trying to jump myself off a little bit from that game to something else. I've been playing playing the soul for a good eight, almost ten years. So yeah, I really needed some other games to play. But yeah, again, I thought Nier would keep me addicted to that game. Because I love action and adventure games. But no, for some reason, like once I beat 2B, 9S, and A2 story, I just I just stopped playing like that. I don't know why. I just did. And then I was looking for some other games to play. And then here comes Peace Be Splash. I'm like, you know what? I, I, I like summertime games. I like water guns, I like beaches, you know, all that. Like I said, I'm, I'm a senior person. And I was like, you know, how bad could it be? So I picked it up, played it for a bit, and ever since then, I've just been here wasting my life away. I even got some of the DLC, which it was on sale, thank God, because I'm not gonna buy no $17 for some extra characters that 
literally has the same model. The only difference is that you have different hairstyles, and that's it. But every model is the same, it's pretty much the same. It's, it's just lazy work. Especially when it came to the accessory pack. Like, the accessory pack in this game is really, I guess, cheaply put together. As in some of the accessories, no, not some, but the majority of the accessories you put on the girls float above the character's head. So, like, yeah, it, it's just really, really lazy work. Some of the costumes, they really do look good, but the majority of them I really don't use that much. I use probably uh, the nightgown or the pajamas. Or, uh, I used the bubble costume and I was just wanted to laugh or something. Uh, I don't know, I guess anything that, look, that looks cute, I just put them on. Uh, mostly dresses or I guess swimming trunks or whatever. But yeah, this is a really fun game, y'all. Supply, supply. This game is really fun. So, uh, I, I, I really wish I made this video sooner when this game was on sale for like uh, $19, was it? I think a couple of days back. Or was it $29? I don't know. I can't, I can't remember. Uh, but yeah, it, this game is on sale along with their Estes Versus, which I did buy that and tried it out to see if it would be fun. Which, it, I, I am not having any fun with that game at all, to be honest. Like, the combat is really good, the skills are cool, but when it comes to blocking slash parrying, I cannot do that at all. I would love it. This game would be top of the list if I was able to anti-cancel all my attacks into block, which you can't do, unfortunately. Like, once you hit something, you cannot, you can't turn around, you can't do anything. There's, there's no stopping that hit once it comes out. So I'm getting hit left and right by these ninjas and stuff. And you now I'm trying to sit here and, and block and parry. It's, it's just not, not working for me. So I'm like, you know what? I, I, I'll keep trying and see if I can get better. But at that way, I'm just, I am really, really not touching this game. It, it, it's been a couple of days to actually touch that game. Uh, but yeah, going back to Peace Peace Class though, like I really do wish this game was a bit more popular because, like I said, it's not that bad. And again, when I first bought this game, I thought this game was actually pay to win as well. But no, there's nothing pay to win about it at all. All the cards that you find or maybe you see other people with, you can actually get them at the cash shop. Like once you complete certain stories, uh, you get new cards that you can buy at the shop. Um, you know, of course, in-game Zenny, no, no more like stuff. I mean, there are some DLC cards, but I don't think they actually do anything, as far as I can tell. Um, I mean, the uh, only difference I see is just they're just different images, and that's all, that all, all I found. Uh, but this game has a total of 801 cards. Pretty much all of them are the same. It's just that some are stronger than the others, you know, of course, that's all y'all. Uh, kind of like Pokemon cards, I guess. Um, some, some of them you can control with the projectile areas and all, all that kind of stuff. Some give you boost, but at the end of the day, none of that stuff really matters. Because once you max your weapons and your shields and stuff, like they still get destroyed pretty easily by anything. So all that stuff is pretty much just irrelevant. Uh, but yeah, I do love the, the skill, the skill effects, the art on all the cards. They look really, really good. Um, again, I love the scenery in this game, man. I just, I love scenery. Um, I think my favorite map is the... You can't even access the map via story or, or tournament mode. You have to go online to only play it. Which is a real shame, by the way, because everything you probably want, like a free match to play with all your buffed up NPCs, you can only do that online, and those NPCs are not buffed, by the way. They're all... I mean, the only difference with the NPCs is that they're... Uh, you cannot modify the card. The cards they give you online, you can't you can't touch those. Again, the only difference is that whatever NPC you have leveled up with their health stays with you on even online. So any NPCs that you want to fight against will have random cards, but the same health as you. That's if you level them. Uh but yeah, man, like I really do wish like you have played online. Like I again I understand my people probably thought it was a bad idea to, to do something like this, thinking that this game is probably like pay to win or something, or maybe it was probably going to be cringy or something like that, which at the beginning of this game, yeah, it is, to be honest, a real cringy game. Uh, I think all of the games are cringy, to be honest. Um, I, I tried watching the opening anime of this game and Versus, and I was like, uh, yeah, I, I, I think I'm done. Like, just, you know, just kind of like dance thing. You, you know how anime is all these days with women. 
but yeah, it, it really isn't on that bad. You skip around that stuff, you get used to playing the game, and for sure, for sure enough, y'all will start to feel like, I want to play online here. I want to play by the keyboard, see how this game goes. And that's what I started doing. I started playing co-op survival. And of course, since no one plays this game, I was playing with NPCs. And then when the Steam Auto sale started happening, I was really, I was getting people like everywhere. Um, even from Korea, which is a surprise. Um, and I guess another good thing about this, when you play online and you do cross survival, which by the way, survival isn't what you think it is. Like, it's not like you die and the game's over. I mean, actually that, that does happen, but only when you play with NPCs. If it's someone else, then the game is still going. But you actually have to protect some towers, which is kind of stupid to the beginning. It's called survival, so I don't, I don't get that. Uh, but yeah, co survival. I was getting people from all over the world. And yeah, they was lagging here and there, but the game was still running pretty normal. The only problem was is that, again, when someone lags, the towers that you're supposed to attack are actually getting hit by nothing. So you're running around trying to figure out how to stop the tower from getting damaged. But uh, another good thing, is that even though the game is lagging, the towers are getting attacked by nothing, whatever mob you see and you hit and kill, it may or may not stop the effects of the tower being hit. So let's say for instance, the tower is like way far to your right and it's another mob like probably in the middle of the map. If you hit that mob, which probably the other person sees that mob on attacking that tower, they'll, they'll die in the tower, you know, go back to not being damaged, which is pretty cool. So you can pretty much just attack anything anywhere and there won't be any problems. So I, I like how they did uh, I'm fine, excuse me. I like how they did that. Uh, but as for free match and ranking, no one actually plays those. Um, rank mode has a 3v3 and a 5v5. There were no 1v1 games in this game whatsoever. Maybe if this game was really popular, they would have probably added something like that. But mm, this game has a 4 out of 5, I think. 4.3 or something like that. But yeah, no one actually touched the rank mode, which I would love to happen because the only way for me to 100% this game, which I've been trying to do for a while now, is, uh, cause I pretty much do that to all the games I play. And since I was growing up, I do my best to 100% every game I, I ever own, aside from Final Fantasy X and the one of 3D, because those games are possible for me to beat. Uh, but yeah, in order for me to unlock panel skins, which I don't know what those, what those are, it's kind of like, uh, okay, I guess, like, I, I can explain this easily, it's just that the people who suck my channel are pretty much Blade and Soul and Dragon as fans, uh, I guess maybe some Max Media fans too, um, but I guess, for example, for Blade and Soul, you know how you edit your profile? It's sort of like that, except for you're editing the outside of your profile, which is, you know, the, the whole UI box, so... Uh, on, usually on console games, Call of Duty or whatever, you can add, you can edit your profile panel again, which is the outside of the, the profile box. Uh, so if you want to have like pink or blue or you know whatever that stuff, or maybe you, have, you want to have a custom character on there, I have to go online on rank mode to unlock that stuff. I think winning or losing doesn't really matter. You you will still uh, like level up and you know you unlock these things. But again, since no one plays rank, I can't really do that. So. Uh, I've been trying to find some groups to do it with, but again, this game is really, really not popular with the online mode, which again is understandable because, like I said before, when I first bought this game, I thought myself that playing online was like seriously stupid. Uh, but no, nah, it really isn't all that bad. It's, it's fun once you get the hang of the game. It's it's really, really fun. Like honest to God, the only reason I bought this game. Aside from you know the summertime thing, it was because of the dual winning pistols that I saw. Not many games today come with dual winning pistols, and I liked it. So that's that's nice. again off the iron. That's the only reason why I bought this game. Uh, we have asked for again uh, free match mode. No one plays it either. I mean, there's no rank involved in that. You just having silly old fun. You know, there's no reward for it whatsoever except, except when you know, your team winning. That's pretty much it. But yeah, no one plays that either. So, like, hopefully one day, maybe next summer, I don't know, we'll, we'll see. When 
Steam summer sales hits. Uh, if people will stop playing this game again, I could probably unlock some panel skins. Hopefully I can. I mean, they really don't do anything, of course. Again, they're, they're panel skins. They're just there to show off and stuff. But again, I like, I really like to 100% games I play. So hopefully I can do that one of these days. But yeah, yeah, that is pretty much it. That's all I'm saying, though. Uh, so if you're looking for a really fun game to play, and I, I guess if you're a shoot 'em up person, or I, I guess a running gun type of person, uh, I guess kind of like Fortnite. I, I would hate to say that, but yeah, this game is kind of like a Fortnite, except for you know, you're playing with the girls or smashing and stuff like that. And yeah, just buy this game. I think the game is now is back up to thirty nine dollars. Yes, it's a lot. Um, just in my opinion, don't buy the DLC. Don't be like me and buy the DLC unless it's on sale, of course. Or maybe I guess if you're a hardcore fan of uh, this cinema and anime and games, and you know, just really want to piss off you. Uh, but yeah, the DLC really isn't worth it. It's just extra costumes and extra weapons, um, extra playable characters like Hyper Dimension, which I never. I mean, I, I've heard about that game, but I never actually checked it out like, at all. Um, I, I think the characters are based off of game consoles, Xbox, Wii, and the, no, no, X, Xbox, Wii, and PlayStation. Yeah, and that's pretty much all I know about it. Um, some other extra characters from, I guess, other anime series. Uh, the, only, the only extra characters I bought was from this series, which was the Awakening characters, which I think was uh, $8 or something like, something like that. Which I still shouldn't have done that either because it's, like I said at the beginning of this vid, it's basically just the same models, the only difference is just their hairstyles. And uh, in game, they have some kind of different, or the shooting item, whatever you, whatever you move around. Uh, I guess depending on their color or something, I don't know. I know Yumi's is like bluish looking. Uh, so I'm kind of sad, I, I played this game like four times and I still don't know all the characters' names. I just know Yumi, that's, that's pretty much it. Not that I actually care anyway. Uh, but yeah, the, the DLC, like I said, it really isn't worth buying. Like everything, to me in my opinion, because once you beat this game fully, you go into the cash shop and buy some stuff, there isn't that much to buy in here whatsoever. All that, all those DLC costumes and accessories and stuff should be a part of this game, which it is actually. Like when you buy this game, you you have everything off the bat. It's just locked behind a paywall. That's that's it. I mean, there's no installing anything. It's just you buy it and then you, you unlock it. Kind of like I guess uh, Battlefront 2, which was a really bad idea how they did that. Uh, but. Yeah, it really isn't worth getting it, but the, like I said, the stuff inside the cash shop, it's just, it isn't a lot. It really isn't. There's so little stuff in there to buy. Uh, I, I guess it makes up for the recolor costumes that you can choose from, but then again, it really isn't that much recolors of anything either. It's it's six colors of everything, except for the accessories. But it's, I mean, some of these costume colors look good, some don't, but again, it's still too little to have in a game like this. It's way too little. So yeah, they, they was really trying to milk the DLCs out of you. But yeah, yeah that's, that's good. This game is like way too long, that 18 minutes here. See, hey, thank for watching. Uh, I hope y'all enjoy some more PC Splash game that's going to be uploading here soon. And I don't know, I guess that's pretty much it. I'm going to get back to the game now. Cause I, I have it running still. I had this game running as I'm making this video.